Hey guys, welcome back and I am actually having a different thing today. Um, <laughs> that sounded kind of odd, but whatever. So what I decided to do, um, I wanted to do a makeup inventory, but I decided to do it differently just because I, it will take me a long time to do it anyway. So I was, I was just like, oh, I'll just do this thing and I'm going to finally say what it is. I decided to do like a series, a collection series kind of thing. So where I go through the items that I have and like, I'll have like a video for my face product, like my foundations and primers, and then I'll have a video for my blushes and video for my eyeshadows and palettes, lipsticks, and all of that. Um, so before I get into the makeup stuff, I wanted to start filming um, the non-makeup items because that's a little bit easier to do. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I feel like when I make a video about something, it keeps me in check with what I have and what I'm doing. So I decided to do that. Um, so that, cause I have a lot of stuff and there's things that I do want to get and hopefully I will eventually get them this year. And obviously they probably won't be included because some of these things that I want aren't even released yet. Um, but I decided to just start doing my collection series now while I have time today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I know it's kind of rambly. I really didn't know how else to introduce this except that I really, really wanted to do this and I have some time today to start. So before I do my makeup, I'm, I have my hand lotions and perfumes. This is like the smallest of all of the collections that I have so I decided to start with this. Let's start with my um, hand lotions because I only have two. Um, I got these um, during the holidays. One I got for myself and one was a gift and they're both from Ulta. Um, when Ulta was having their 5 for 5 sale I got a bunch of things and one of the things that I got was a hand cream. I was running low. I had just that one little tiny tube left which I already finished up. And so before that ran out, I went out and I got this along with other things. Um, I got sharpener and brow pencils, I think. And so, um, yeah, this is a van this is in the vanilla hand, very vanilla hand cream. Um, I thought about getting the other ones, but I decided not to because it does take me a while to finish hand creams as of now. So I didn't want to get a lot. And, um, I got this. This is also from Ulta, um, from a holiday present from my best friend. This is another hand cream, which is also in vanilla, but this one is in vanilla frost. I don't think they smell any different. Like, I think they have pretty much the same, like, because they're both vanilla. This, oh no, this smells more like, um, this smells more not more vanilla this this smells more like um like a, a vanilla frosting and this smells more like like fresh vanilla i don't know how to explain it i'm not very good at explaining scents um but this has it smells like vanilla but it smells more fresh and um i actually like oh, this one a little bit better this is from simple pleasures the simple pleasures line which I only know that for this to come out during the holiday season. So I think... Uh, sorry, I thought I heard someone in the house. I'm home alone and that kind of freaked me out. So I think um, if I were to ever purchase, I'll probably purchase something from this line again and not the regular Ulta line. This smells and feels better. All right, let's go to the perfumes. I'm not going to describe any of these scents, by the way, because I am terrible at describing scents. I am not one of those people. I don't even think I'll put down the notes because I'll probably forget to do that because I'm low-key lazy in editing and also low-key too busy to take the time to do too much editing, which is kind of why I haven't filmed a tutorial in forever 
So, anyways, um, I have two body sprays and two, four, six um, perfumes. So let's start with the body sp body sprays first. This is actually decanted from its original bottle. The reason why I decanted it is because I like this bottle to hold my um, hair ties. It's really perfect to just hold it in and keep them all together. So I kept this um, white cherry blossom from Body Rex. This is a really old bottle, but the product itself is not as old as this bottle is. But I just kept it because it was when they moved it. I don't actually know what the body spray looks like now, but it used to look like that out, like big hourglass kind of shape, if you know what you're talking about. And I can't put any of my hair ties on that, of course. So I decanted into this. So this scent that's in here is Velvet Tuberose. I'm not even sure if Velvet Tuberose is on the market. I haven't gone to Bath & Body Works in a long time, and I don't really need a lot of scents. And like the lotions, I don't really like scented lotions. I like my perfumes to be scented, but not my lotions. So I, this is currently in a project pan, so there's like not much left in it. And I've got to say, it's actually a scent that I actually like, even though it's like a little bit more of a mature scent, I like it. Um, so about for my next body spray is also from Bath & Body Works, and it's Paris Amour. And this smells like, really... This smells like a nighttime body spray, like, it's not as fresh, it's kind of a little bit musky, I guess. Um, there's, I don't know what the notes are. Oh, the notes are right here. It is, um, refreshed with fragrance with from flowers and fruits, infused with moisture, aloe, bar, barbendi, barbedenis, leaf extract, and leaf extract. Uh, mist over body. So it's just a very, um, it's, it's a nice smell. All of the scents that I have, I like, um, but it's very, it's more nighttime appropriate. Speaking of nighttime appropriate scents, this is the Mariah Carey Butterfly Perfume. I think it's called Butterfly. I don't remember. I'm not even sure if it's on here, but I just know it's Mariah Carey's first perfume, and I've had this since I was about 16, 17, and I am 24, almost 25. This is like my oldest perfume, and um, before, I really loved this, and I stopped liking it, and then since I started Project Panning, I actually fell in love with this scent again, so I am trying to use this up. By the way, these are the two products, two scents that I am trying to use up this year, and um, yeah. So now all of my other scents, all of my other perfumes are very fresh. One that I really don't know the name of, um, this was given to me, this was sent to me from my mom in, when I was in college, and I don't know what it's called because there's no sticker on here. I know the scent is called Affection. It is, um, I don't know the brand, but it is this apple perfume bottle. And it smells really, really great. I love the scent. Um, smells very, very fresh. I really like it. Um, I haven't really used it that much. Ugh, it went like way up my nose. That was like a bad decision. I might sneeze. Because I have been trying to use this up. A lot of the um, my perfumes, just because I've been project panning, I haven't really used that much just because of project panning. So they've been kind of neglected. And... Um, getting a bit dusty so everything else is still in its box so when i was in college there was one perfume i bought and it is clinique happy in bloom and it's dusty dusty and it is a pretty big bottle but i love this scent oh my god this was i think limit um i think in bloom is limited edition this is a 3.4 ml and um uh it is so fresh. I also really like florally scents. Um, this is kind of has a kind of candy scent to it. But I still like it. But all of my perfumes, I love a fresh floral scent. I think it smells the best on me. So you'll see that pattern in my next three perfumes. I really like this. Um, that's kind of the reason why I keep it in the 
in its box. I'm like OCD about having like my favorite perfumes kept in its original packaging because I'm psycho like that. But um, yeah. So the next perfume, I really want all of um, the whole collection. Um, actually, I want all the all of the um, Clinique Happy line because I love the line of Clinique Happy. But the next one I have is Mark Jacobs Daisy in the scent Sunshine. Um, I believe this was limited edition. I'm not sure. I really don't know anything about perfumes, but I just know I like Mark Jacobs Daisy and the Daisy line. It's oof, okay. it has kind of more of a citrusy, florally scent. But like again, like I said, I love floral scents. I think they smell the best on me. And Marc Jacobs has the cutest packaging ever. I really like Marc Jacobs, his scents. Like the the Daisy line, the honey and what is it, Dot? Oh my god, I love them. I wish I was able to have like a whole collection of Marc Jacobs, but maybe someday I will. Not right now. It's not really necessary um, because I'm trying to use stuff up. And the last two items are from Elizabeth Arden, and these are this is also something that I wish I had a com the complete line. And then this is her green tea line. I have the original green tea. Let me get some fresh air I'm trying to clean my nose from all the scents so this is a green tea spray um and this is the original one where is the nozzle <sighs> smells like green tea but fresh um like i'm not saying green tea doesn't smell good but it just smells really fresh smells very light that's exactly how I like my perfumes. It is amazing. Um, the first time I ever smelled this was from one of my friends in university. Um, I went to university in the Philippines, by the way. So um, getting like Elizabeth Arden or Daisy or Clinique, it was it's extremely expensive over there. But she is from Guam, so she brought that home. She brought that from home with her when she went. Um, for vacation one day and I just remember the smell of it and I was just like oh it smells so good and I remember when I was walking down the mall and I was like oh who has that perfume because I recognized the box and the bottle and I remembered it was her and I was just like oh I'm so glad I smelled it from her because honestly I would have never tried this line and I love it the other one is green tea with honeysuckle like green tea honeysuckle and um this packaging um, the green tea line is just a blank, um, in the front, it's kind of blank in the back. It has the green tea leaf embossment, and this has, all the green tea lines have the green tea embossment, but, um, the front changes depending on what the scent is, and this one is, the honeysuckles has little honeysuckles on it, and because this has also a more... floral scent to it. I like, I just love this. I am actually torn with which one I love the most out of these two. Um, I actually interchanged it. There was one time I used this more than this, but I think I love them equally the same. You can't make me choose between them. I'm not much of a scent person just because any, if anyone gets me anything, they'll pretty much smell the same, but yeah. I don't think I'll be getting a new perfume this year just because um, the ones that I have I am not really touching it that often just because I am trying to finish up Mariah Carey. Not that Mariah Carey is not good. Her perfume is really good. It has a very mature scent to it, which I liked when I was younger. And then I stopped loving when I got to college because it was too heavy when I was going to school. But now I'm in love with it again. And so, yeah, that's my scent. That's my perfume and my hand lotion. This is really rambly. I'm so sorry. I'm probably not going to edit this, which is going to be really long. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next collection video. Bye.